Continuity Tester Time. The Hayoki card, high tester, nice gold plated leads like this, so I expect good contact. A little bit slow. But audible, it's loud enough. And it is latched. The upper eye meter slash Digitech. It's instant and scratchy because they're not gold plated. But it is loud. The Dur Smart DMM. Ooh. Ooh. That's fast. Latched. Loud enough, maybe. But I like that, even without gold plated leads. That's it's really quite nice. Uni T. Whoa. I don't know if you can hear that, because I certainly can't. Seriously. I can barely hear that. It's quick enough, but it's it's soft as. That's ridiculous. That's a fail. Senwa, nice gold-plated contacts. I expect it to be good. Slightly slow, but it's loud enough and it's latched. So, yeah, that's pretty good. The BM-22, Urgh, annoying probes with the insulated crap. It's quite loud. And it's instant, but scratchy with the probe tips. Oh, yeah, it's okay. Aining, 8203. Super loud, super quick. That's probably got to be the best of the bunch. This stupid battery door doesn't go back on. This is just like, this is, a, God, it's a joke. This one's kind of hard to get the probes out of here. It doesn't have the little flippy thing like the Aining one does, um, which kind of helps. So that's just, ah, uh, unbelievable. Ugh. The one hung low. It's fast, not latched, but it's loud enough. Yeah, that'll do the job. Hmm, trying to get this battery door off. The case kind of came undone. Um, that's not terrific. Mm, not impressed by that at all. And the Q has uh, nice gold plated tips, so it should do okay. Yep, that's right. It's not the loudest out there, but that's pretty good. Now you might think that the Uni T and the Aning are cases with the see-through window and the uh, you know the hard shell with the probes integrated are quite uh, novel, but they're basically, I believe, rip-offs of the Hayoki. I think. Don't quote me on this. That the Hayoki did it uh, first. They've got the window there, so I like. It looks like the Aning is like almost an exact copy, apart from the top part there. It's almost an exact copy of what uh, Hayoki are doing, but Aining have added something special. Look at this. It's a tilt stand. It is the only one out of the bunch that has a tilt stand. <laughs> if you greatly value a tilt stand like that, then well, that could be the winner for you. And the other Aining. Oh dear. Oh can barely hear that. Not quite as bad as the Uni T, but very close. That's a fail. Don't buy that one for the continuity tester. If you're curious to know, Uni T's um, the discontinued model, the UT10A. It's louder. Scratchy as, uh, but that's the probe contacts. But yeah, it's not super quiet, almost inaudible like the other one.